Hi, this is just a, a short video showing you how you set up a leader style. Okay, now we've got a dimension style already. Um, if I look at the different styles set up, we've got one for dims, but we don't have one for leaders. Okay, so we need to add one for the leaders. So if we go to here and drop this down, manage multi leader styles. Okay, we want a new style. Okay, and let's be imaginative and call this leaders. And continue. Let's pull this into view. Okay. Okay, they start with the first tab, leader format. Um, not going to change anything here apart from the color to, so that they match the dimensions, so that we get a light line, a thin line for the for the actual line and arrowhead and strong color for the text. Okay, the size of the arrow we'll use is three, that matches the dimension style. Okay, then we'll go to the next tab, the leader structure. Okay, uh, the only thing I'm going to change here is the overall dimension scale. At the moment we're using is five. Okay, so that matches the dim scale that's being used by the uh, dimensions. Okay, then the final tab. Okay, it's going to use multi-line text. That's okay. Um, you sometimes maybe want to say a bit more on a leader than you would on a dimension. Um, the text style. This is important. We change this to annotation so that the text looks the same as it does for the dimensions. And the text height. We were using 2.5 with the dimensions. Now, I'm just going to leave every all the other settings as is. So, okay with that. So, we'll click on leaders and just reinforce that that it's set to the current one and close. And let's just draw a little leader just to make sure it's working okay and make sure it looks the same as these. Okay, so choose the leader. Let's go for the corner here. Pull away. So the arrowheads are looking the same size. Text the the lines are the same color, which is good. Okay, and then it's waiting for us to type in. So this is a flange. Okay, and then the tick is just out of view. I'm sorry, it's, you can't see it on the, the screen grab. So I'm just hitting the green tick. All good. Let's just put another one on. Let's say we want to go from the middle of here and we want to identify this as a web. And the green tick again. All good. Okay. If you need to change the text, you just double click it and we can alter what it says. Okay, hopefully that's been useful. Cheers for watching.